Hola amigos, it's me Paul and I'm here in Busarias, Nayarit, Mexico, where I live. And today I'm going to share with you guys a story about a couple named Larry and Chrissy. And they live in Marina Vallarta. And they recently moved here uh, full time, coming from Aspen, Colorado. You know, so you might think that a couple moving from Aspen, Colorado, and they're living in Marina Vallarta, they're probably retired, playing golf, playing tennis, pickleball, all those things, but in this case, they're not doing that. They're, they're still working. In fact, Larry has no interest at all in retiring anytime soon, and he's just having way too much fun with his friends here in the Bahia de Banderas. You know, I I just don't go out there and and photograph whales. I know these whales. I know their moves. I know where they're coming from. When they leave Alaska the first of June, the end of May, I know where they're at. I'm kind of like a mother with the GPS on our kid's car. There's three different pods coming in from Alaska and I know where all three are. And I'm watching them get here. I'm just getting more excited every day. And the first of December, he's like a kid waiting for Christmas. It's coming, it's coming, almost, you know, two more weeks, you know, one more week. He gets so excited the night, and I'm gonna tell this, the night before, whale season started. We had our first excursion December 8th when whale field season started and he did not sleep the night before. He was so excited. You thought it was Christmas. You thought he was, well he is a like little six-year-old, but it's not, I have to get up and go do this. Oh, this is my job. He just gets so excited every trip and every trip, as he says, they start, our people start as clients, they leave as friends. Kirby is the ship's mascot. He's the eyes and ears of the vessel. He sees the wells before we do. He's starting to crack and gray just like me. Kirby's the captain. <laughs> no way as co-captain. There's a difference between tours and an excursion to me. As I'm taking people out in the bay and I'm giving them a chance to watch me and, and I feel that I am in the top rated 25 marine photographers in the world. And I'm giving people a chance to come out and watch me make magic. You know, everyone sees my, my images on Instagram and says, how do you do this? I said, well, come spend a day with me and I'll show you. I take over 100,000 pictures a year of the humpback whales. And I could tell you what whales were here 20 years ago. And hopefully I could tell you the whales that will be here 20 years from now. I'm working on images I took seven, eight years ago. I make the picture look like it looked like in my mind. And the, every image is copyright stamped, and and uh, it is an original. Um, yeah, I, I I make a pretty good living selling wildlife images. We moved to Puerto Vallarta in August of last year, but Larry has been here 18 years plus, so it's new to me, but it's not new to him. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm kind of a beach girl, so this is exactly up my alley. <laughs> I'm really starting to get more comfortable. I can pretty much drive around, and I'm getting to know where things are at. Yeah, she drives all so over the place. It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun, but it's really fun to see how much he loves this city. The city really is amazing. It's gorgeous, multicultural. Um, 
wonderful food. You have to exercise if you live or come here because there is such good food. It is a priority. Make sure you put that in your, in your to-dos. We met at the America Group. They had a concert and we both went. We were single and uh, we kind of just started talking through the concert and then he asked me out for a drink. We decided this could be something and uh, just spent lots of time talking, playing cards, not watching TV, listening to music, sitting in the hot tub, just really getting to know each other. Um, for me, slowing my life down, um, that kind of thing. And uh, just kind of, he said to me, well, you know, I'm gonna move back to Mexico, so if this, if this goes somewhere, are you prepared for that? And I said, well, let's see where this goes. And um, then he brought me last April. He pulled all the stops out <laughs> and for three weeks here, and it was magical. And then I thought, you know, a new chapter in my life. And uh, I just saw how excited he is about everything here in his whales. Can you help me? No, Thank you. And another thing we do on our excursions are uh, we have a hydrophone. And so um, we find a nice spot without any boats and drop the hydrophone and you can hear the whales sing or talk to each other. Yeah, I've, I've gathered over 40, almost 50 hours of well recordings. And I'm actually working on a process through a marine technology group that I'm going to alter the sounds that they're making as I want to figure out what they're saying and I want to find a way digitally to send them a message back that they're all loved and they're, they're respected and they're protected as long as they're in the Bay of Banderas. You, you can communicate with nature if you're open. I've been with my captain, Noe Ramirez, for 18 years. It's really fun to watch the two of them together. All of a sudden they whistle to each other and they have hand motions going and they have one finger, two finger, they have a blow type of thing. Um, they're just, and they're grunting at each other. And then they'll start smiling and laughing. It's like, can you read each other's minds? They're just two whales in a boat talking to each other. <laughs> You know, we see 30, 40 walls a day sometimes. There has never, ever, ever been a day in 18 years I haven't seen multiple wells. This mother rolled up next to the boat and I was kind of leaned over the boat just watching her. She kind of rolled up on her side and she laid her peck fin up on the boat. I was just riding with the boat. And I positioned myself and I was looking right in her eye. It was kind of flirting back and forth. And she was just looking at me, bat her eye, and moving her lips a little bit and like that. And the boat was going real slow. And I, I, I swore this and I, I even wrote, I, I even journaled this. She, she looked at me and said, I love you. And she rolled over with her pig fin and said goodbye. And out she went. By spending time with the whales and them getting to know me and me getting to know them, there, there really is some trust built. I mean, I, I really, a hundred percent to God, feel like they know who I am. They know my voice. 
they're, they're free to play. They're free to roam. They're free to, to do what they do. And it's going to be loved and respected. What is retirement? I, I, I don't know what it is. I mean, how can a person just stop doing what his whole world's made up of? The first thing I see when I get up is a Bay of Banderas. And every night when I go to bed, I stand on that balcony, blow it a kiss. All right, what did you guys think about today's video featuring Larry and Chrissy? I had a lot of fun filming that video, getting all those cool whale shots and, and just meeting Larry and Chrissy. They're very sweet, uh, genuine people. And so thank you very much to them for letting me share their story. So if you're interested in going on a tour or an excursion with Larry and Chrissy, I'll put all that information in the description of this video. And I have a special announcement for members of this channel. We are drawing for five nights at Casa de los Soñadores here in Busarias, Nayari. And the winner is Celia Dempsey. Felicidades! You have won five nights at Casa de los Soñadores at the Quadrant here in beautiful Busarias. Send an email to info at movingtomexi.co to claim your prize. If you would like to be eligible to win cool prizes like this one, click the join button below this video or head over to the Buy Me A Coffee page linked in the description of this video. Your membership helps support this channel, shine a spotlight on some amazing people doing great things in this community. And I do have one more tip from Larry and Chrissy. Uh, it's about moving to Mexico, so here's that tip right now. Like even if somebody was like, I'm not a photographer, but I'm thinking about moving to Mexico and and doing business in Mexico. Maybe if you have any insight on that. My insight is start with a, a Mexican attorney yes. and with the U.S. consulate because there are rules that need to be followed and there are consequences for those that don't follow the rules. We need to remember that to start a business or to do anything if you move to Mexico, um, you are in their country and you need to respect their rules and their laws and so when you come in don't bring your preconceived um, notions or knowledge you need to to figure out what they have here I came from um, I had a little bit of a food background and when I first got here I looked at it and went this is way different than regulations in America but again we're in a different country and I respect that this works for them and this is how they run it so you need to drop those preconceived uh, notions and you need to you definitely need to seek out uh, someone who has the knowledge it can help you because there is little things hiccups that can get you so hire a professional right? hire a professional hire a professional and that's what they get paid for and that's what their business is here and again we need to support it is, it where is we're possible. at it is possible it is possible but you do have to get the right permits you have to pull the right paperwork you have to fill everything out but it, of course it's possible and if you like today's video please Hit the like button, share, and subscribe to the channel. De mi familia la tuya, Dios te bendiga.